This is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you the top-down assembly approach in the assembly design workbench in Katia V5. So I'm going to open up product that is assembly design workbench. So how does this uh, top-down assembly design workbench works? So exactly what happens right here is I am inserting new part into the existing product file and I'm going to design my parts in the product design workbench itself that is assembly design workbench so right here I'm going to create some design so I can uh, better understand what exactly happens in the top-down design workbench so let me just uh, give some dimension for this 50 So it comes to the assembly design and uh, click on insert new part. Now uh, again I'm going to click on the product so the next product is created. Now I'll uh, double click on this so I have again a chance to create another product. So I sketch on this and so I'm just uh, uh, you know uh, what, what exactly why do we use uh, top-down assembly is because we have the uh, chance to design uh, something you you have the complete whatever you know you can do the uh, thing whatever features you have in the part design you have in you have an assembly design while you're designing your second product so you can do project to 3d you can do anything you can give the dimension right here so this is the advantage of uh, top-down assembly so you can use a wireframe mode so remember you are not in part design workbench you are in assembly design and you're doing the part design in the assembly design so I'm using project 3D and coming out of the sketch and I'm giving part of 20 so I have it easily created in uh, top-down assembly so it doesn't mean that top-down assembly is always good. There are uh, certain limitations for that. So you will be coming to know that once you keep watching my assembly design videos. So once you do your design, you're again I'm gonna, gonna click. You just uh, keep an eye on this tools right here. Once I double click, the tool is gonna change back to uh, assembly design workbench once again. So now right here, I'm going to edit, move, manipulate. I'm going to use, I'm gonna move it up assembly right here so I'll just uh, assemble them together now so insert coincidence or else uh, I'll do contact contact constraint I'll use update and it got uh, assembled together so uh, this explains how you can do the top down assembly uh, in uh, assembly design on the Kitia V5. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Subscribe me, like my videos, uh, make the channel lively, please. Thank you.